Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to cover assignment operators. We've already, you know, looked at one of the most basic ones, and this is, you know, the simple assignment, and this is using a single equal. So if you do int i equals 10 or 20, I actually input 20, this right here is single assignment whatever value you have on the right, it could be a variable for example, is assigned into the variable on the left. Simple as that. Simple, simple. And now I have 20 as part of it. What you can also do is, you know, another assignment, but it only does it if the variable is null. So if I show you something, so this is double equals null only assignment so if I do int and let's call it j equals null then I do yeah j question mark question mark equals 10 and then I print out j let's see what we get so you get 10 printed out but if I were to change this to 7, however, you get 7 printed out. So this assignment only occurs if the variable is null. So this is a great way of basically only assigning a value if the value, I mean, if the variable like hasn't been set up yet. So this is great for that instance. The next one I'm going to show you is the add and assignment, so which is the, like, like a compound add assignment. So if I do add assignment and this is plus equals so if i have int let's call it num1 equals 10 and i'm going to cut this out a second and if i was to print out num1 num1 what we can do is if we do num1 plus equals let's say if we do plus equals five what this is the same as doing it's the same as saying num1 equals itself plus five so whatever numbers here you just adds it back onto num1 so if i was to print it out now num1 if i run it we'll get 10 initially then 15. And I think you can probably guess there are instances for the subtract assignment, which just is a minus here. And I'll change this to a two. Let's just make a few modifications to and you can have any value here you want. It could be large number, small number. It could be a decimal, you know, assuming you're, you know, doing double numbers, for example. You could have negative value. That's totally up to you. And if I do num2 now and I run it and I'm going to comment out these print statements just so we can see exactly what is happening. We have 10, but then it takes away 5 or whatever value is set here. The next one. If you haven't already guessed, is the multiply assignment. So multiply assignment. This is asterisk equals num three num three. Let me just fix up this comment. So this will be going on the GitHub page. And if I was to comment this one out and run it. We'll get 10 and then we'll get 50. So it just multiplies whatever the current value is. So if I was to actually do it twice, and this is the same case for both of them, it prints out 10, then it says, what's num3? Num3 is 10 times it by this, which is now 50. So num3 is 50 now. Here it says what is num3 is 50 times it by this, which will be 250. So you can really compound this up. So I'll get rid of this. Final one is the divide assignment so divide and divide it forward slash num4 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 divide num4 
make the chain V and the only chain. Yep, that is. Okay, so with the division, it's going to basically do it as a double. So let's just change this. And now if we run it, we get 10, and then gets divided by 5, and we get 2. So that's it for the assignment operator. So we have the simple assignment that we've used. This is pretty, un pretty unique to Dart, which is really cool. And then we've got the add, subtract, multiply, and divide assignment operators. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.